Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagdagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Welcome to our 16th virtual session, Grade 11 students. How are you doing so far? Have you realized that after this episode, we only have two remaining sessions left for this week? Days have gone so fast, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed every learning session we shared, as it helped you write your own speeches and applying those things we gave you. We will be guided by this most essential learning competence. Uses principles of effective speech writing, focusing on audience profile, logical organization, duration, word choice, and grammatical correctness. So from there, you might have an idea that we are going to talk about speech writing. Last time, I came across this video released by BB entitled "How to Write a Great Speech," and I believe this would be helpful for us to know more about how to write a great speech. This one, uh, the person that was interviewed here is the speech writer of the former U.S. President Barack Obama. He is Mr. Cody King. According to him, the secret behind any great speech begins with the speech. So here are his tips on how to write a great speech. Number one is Tell a story. Of course, as an audience, we all want to hear a good story, right? So you may start with that. So you may establish connection with your audience and you may get their attention. The second one is make it bigger than the now. What does it mean? It means that you should have something to promise to your audience that they would get something from your speech. But of course, those promises should be realistic. That's why Mr. Keenan advised that you should make your speech real or keep it real. For the fourth tip is tell good jokes. Of course, we cannot avoid that our audience might feel bored during your speech. So to establish you more and to get their attention, you might tell good Welcome to our 16th virtual Welcome to our 16th virtual session, Grade 11 students. How are you doing so far? Have you realized that after this episode, we only have two remaining sessions left for this week? Days have gone so fast, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed every learning session we shared, as it helped you write your own speeches and applying those things we gave you. 
we will be guided by this most essential learning competence. It uses principles of effective speech writing, focusing on audience profile, logical organization, duration, word choice, and grammatical correctness. So from there, you might have an idea that we are going to talk about speech writing. Last time, I came across this video released by BB entitled How to Write a Great Speech. And I believe this would be helpful for us to know more about how to write a great speech. This one, uh, the person that was interviewed here is the speech writer of the former U.S. President Barack Obama. He is Mr. Cody King. According to him, the secret behind any great speech begins with the speech. So here are his tips on how to write a great speech. Number one is tell a story. Of course, as an audience, we all want to hear a good story, right? So you may start with that. So you may establish connection with your audience and you may get their attention. The second one is make it bigger than the now. What does it mean? It means that you should have something to promise to your audience that they would get something from your speech. But of course, those promises should be realistic. That's why Mr. Keenan advised that you should make your speech real or keep it real. For the fourth tip is tell good jokes. Of course, we cannot avoid that our audience might feel bored during your speech. So to establish you more and to get their attention, you might tell jokes from time to time. And number five, which is one of the most essential parts of writing your speech, is to know your audience. So that you would know what language or jargon you're going to use or what kind of language should you communicate with your audience. Another is he established where he discussed how to start writing. So number one, he said that you have to start journaling. You have to start write and write and write. Because as what we have discussed, communication is a form of expression. So one good way of practicing writing is write or do your journal. Second one is read widely. So do not just read romances. What but stories, but you should have a wide range of selections of books that you may read because it might be useful in your speech writing. Third, take history, economics, philosophy. Okay, so this one might be expensive for us, but you may actually watch on YouTube about this other subject that you may. Read. So for another part of speech writing tips. I came across this speech writing article from speakandconquer.com entitled 27 Key Tips from Season Pro. And this 27 key tips was divided into five main topics. They, they are A. Knowing the preliminary. B. Choosing the topic. C. Writing the speech. E. Keeping focus. And E. Rehearsing making. Our goal would be you would be able to use, utilize the different speech writing tips as you go along to developing your So let us put this into context so that we may relate these tips on a particular scenario. For example, so we all know that February is the National Arts Month for it, and then for this year, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts released the theme Alap Sini Alay Sikla. Okay, so enough for Valentine's and dates, but let's focus on the art. So there is this theme, Alab Sini, Alab Alay Sigla, and we are going to assume that we are invited as speaker of a certain event. So the attendees would be the contemporary arts from the region students. So contemporary arts from the region is one of the subjects in the senior high school. So the venue would be held at the audiovisual room where in the room is air conditioned because that is something to be uh, to be considered the time is from one to 
So please take note of those details because we will use that as we go along with this speech writing. So let's go to the first main topic, knowing the preliminary. The first tip there is know the audience. So from the, from the scenario that I gave a while ago, our audience are senior high school students taking up contemporary contemporary arts from the children's subject. Second, identify the audience. Very much important, why do we need to know why this audience should attend the seminar? So are they, do, they, do they go there for they want to be entered? Or they want to be informed? Or they are there because it's compulsory for you to answer? For the third one, know the audience. You have to identify, identify as the speaker. What is the need or the expectations of your audience? What would they take away from your speech? You have to take that. Number four is research demographics. As part of our discussion from the previous meeting, demographics involve what? The age, the gender, the educational background, the religion of your audience. So that you may know the background of this audience or your listener. That's why on some events, there is what we call pre-registration so that they, this may be given to the speaker so that they would have the idea of who their audience would be. Their For the fifth tip is be informed about the event. So since it's, the scenario is a school, but there would be times wherein the scenario of that particular each speaking engagement would be would be in a, in a wherein you would have your audience like lawyers, professionals, mothers. So it's very important that you would know the industry of the number six, understand the mission. You have to know the mission or the aim or the purpose of this of, of this event or this activity. Seven, Seven is check out the venue. That's why I mentioned there that the, the seminar will be held at an audio visual room, which is an air-conditioned place. And we have to take note that if it is an air-conditioned place, the behavior of your audience might be affected. They might feel very cold or they might feel very, very much. That's why you have to adjust in terms of your content and your humor so that to make them live and kicking during your speech. Take research other speakers. Because there would be times where in, in a certain event, there would be several speakers. So you may research about them so that you would know what topic will they discuss. And then you may align your topic with or propose relevant topics related to the to the speech or the topic of the speech. Second part would be the choosing the topic. How should you choose so relevant speech. So since this one is about national arts, so you may look on other topics about arts. And one ask event coordinator for speech. So there would be times for in this coordinator or the organizers provide a specific topic for you to for you to prepare. Eleven, you may ask social media for a speech topic. Okay, so we may maximize the use of the internet or the social media to get more ideas of what topic to be discussed. Now let's go to the writing the speech. Number 12 is write your speech outline first. So this one is very much important because you would know your guide and then the outline would serve as the skeleton of your whole. 13 one, write your speech introduction last. You might be wondering why should you write your introduction last if it is the first one that you will read during your speech? Because introduction should adjust on the main body of your and of course later on as you practice you would realize that you would there would be certain revision that you would do to the introduction that will adjust on your body. Number 14 use personal stories or humor in your Again, as what I told you a while ago, just like the theme of Mr. Cody Keenan, that using stories and humor is very much important 
so that you may establish connection and get the attention of your audience. Fifteen, remember that your audience is not you. Remember that you are there to speak in front of the people and then your message is actually for them. So you have to adjust your language according to your audience. At the same time, you have to put yourself in the shoes of your audience. Next, writing the speech. Don't patronize or talk down to your audience. Again, you have to know leveling. If you are a certain professional or authority in a particular field, you have to level yourself to the level of your student or senior high school. 17. Choose jargon carefully. Of course, you have to adjust the language as well, whether it would be more formal or you have to be conversational. 18. Nail your speech transition. You have to have a smooth transition from one topic to another so as to avoid confusion with your audience. 19. Write a great speech ending. What is interesting here is that having this great speech ending would leave a mark to your audience. Okay, so you have to make that. Next, keep in focus. Keep a narrow focus. Just have to make it very, very much focus or specific so that you would be settling and focusing on a specific idea of a certain. 21. Keep your speech simple so that your audience can easily relate to your speech. 22. Write your speech like you speak. Because there would be times when you write something that it would be very hard for you to pronounce. That's why make sure that you rehearse your speech first and you write your speech conversation. 23rd, be faithful to the fact. If you wish to inform your audience about certain topics, make sure that you are faithful to the facts that you provide specific statistics and you do check and balance and correct your data. 24, try to sound normal. There would be times wherein you would sound like very nervous but you have to practice that so that your audience would not feel that you are Nervous. Lastly, rehearsing makes perfect. 25th, read your speech out loud. So in order for you to feel that you have adjusted with your speech, you have to read your speech out. 26th, for you to know how you sound like whenever you, you try to rehearse your speech, you have to record it and then listen to it later on so that you would know where did you stutter. Where should you include certain parts or omit some parts? Okay. And last, time yourself. Of course, as what I told you, in a speaking engagement, there would be times wherein you would be given a certain amount of time to speak in front of the people. So it's better that you have to time yourself. If you felt that your speech is too short, you may lengthen it by making some pauses. By establishing question and answer among your audience. And if it is very long or you are um, you are you have exceeded the time that was allotted to you, you may speak faster or you may you may omit some parts that you find that is not much necessary for yours. So for us to have more uh, inspiration on some great speech, I have here the famous speech that shape the history of the world. So this one is from scoopwoop.com. You may see that wherein they have enumerate, enumerated the 16 greatest speeches of all time. But I just got some, uh, some examples. So here is the first one. I have a dream by Martin Luther King delivered 1960. So let me read this excerpt. Behold this truth to be self-evident. That all men are created. You see, there is a wow factor in our life. Second example, uh, we shall fight on the beaches by Winston Churchill. So he said here, we shall fight on the beaches, on the landing grounds, in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. It's really a very big word to deliver. Next example. From Nelson Mandela, entitled, I am the first of you. Let me read the excerpt. 
I have cherished the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunity. It is an ideal I hope to live for and to achieve, but if need be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to have. Next example from Abraham Lincoln on his Gettysburg Address. Government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from here. Last but not the least, Ain't I a Woman by Sojourner the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down all alone. These women together ought to be able to turn it back and, and get it right by up again. And now they are asking to do it. The men better let them. So let me share with you this quote from Stephen King. He says here, if you want to be a writer, you must do two things above all others. Read a lot and write a lot. I hope you were able to type your suggestions on what topic should we discuss next week. Remember, it should be related to our subject, oral communication, and content. With that, happy learning. See you on our next virtual meeting. Goodbye.